Hey, welcome to another match. This hand has too many Mox Opals, because there is such a thing. This hand's garbage. Well, I lost this game. Pretty friggin' dead. <laughs> this hand is so bad. Oh god. Yeah, there is literally no way I can win this this map, this game. This game is completely unwinnable from here. Where's the best thing that I could draw? I'm just not showing him what to side in. <laughs> like, there's no point. <laughs> yeah, I was I was never winning that game. All right. Uh, let's take out those things and put in my etched emery. That that stuff. Call that good. I want in soul, not all that glitter. Uh, yeah, I think that's correct. All that glitters isn't going to be that much bigger than in soul, and in soul being able to enchant the citadel is a very significant upside. Really? Finally, a playable hand. Um, I'll keep, and I'll bottom a signal pest. This hand's actually, like, absurd for being a six-card hand. Couldn't really ask for a whole lot better than this. I don't care about Thoughtseize. He he needs to like revolt a fatal push on Emery next turn to prevent me from getting back a free cranial plating. And even if he does that, then I get to untap and play a Glimmer Void against a black green deck. Like shit, dude. <laughs> and and in the meantime, the Bowmaker is just ticking up more cards on it. Alright. This the revolted fatal push? Mm, no, it's a thought seize. All right, well, goodbye, Edge Champion. Time to cast the Edge Champion. <laughs> I mean, why not? All right. That's gross. That's really gross right there. <laughs> All right. Do your worst, John. Uh, have fun with your run in six. Just not gonna show that I'm leaving in Galvanic Blast, blast post board because I'm pretty sure this is lethal. All right, all right. I will admit that hand was really, really gross. <laughs> wow, 
That was glorious. Alright. Definitely playing against Jund. Yeah, this looks fine. Alright. Next game. Meh. Meh. This hand could be much better. I'm keeping it because mulliganing against Jund is shit. Ooh, ooh. He's he's down to five. That's something. That is definitely something. Signal pass dying to run in six. As well as um, not being able to crew Smuggler's Copter is quite mediocre. I think mediocre correctly describes that interaction. All right, doesn't go to four, unsurprisingly. Some kind of variant that wants to do street wraith stuff. Bowmet. Bowmet's a card. Oh, I like the Bowmet. So, some kind of shadow variant. That's awkward. That is very awkward for me. <laughs> I like how it's game three, I barely know what he's buying, because just like first couple games were so worthless. Oh yeah. As long as he doesn't have Abrupt Decay or um, Assassin's Trophy, this is... Fantastic. Don't be able to deal with the insole. Don't be able to deal with the insole. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff. Well, he can certainly play his shadows now. Galvanic Blast would be a sweet draw. I guess Galvanic Blast is, you know, just the best draw that I could get by quite a large margin, since it would free up 
I mean, either it would kill him or it would kill the oof and free up all of my artifacts to actually mean something. That's bold. Okay, so... If I attack with him with everything, he goes block, block, takes one down to one. I feel like that is currently not a winning play. Now, Vault Scourge just treads water, since he can just shoot it with Ren and Six. Well, I'm not going to win this game by not attacking, so time to find out if he's got a Fatal Bush. If he does, eh, I'm probably screwed. I feel like he's got to have something, so otherwise we would have played land. Coligan's command, maybe? Yeah, Coligan's command. Well, if he has Battle Rage, I'm dead. The Nurturing Peat Land doesn't do anything. And I need to draw one burn spell before he draws a whole bunch of stuff. That collector oof got me pretty good, I gotta admit. Got me pretty good. Question is, does he feel courageous enough to attack with a shadow? I feel like his move is probably well, it depends on his hand, but uh Sack the nurturing Pete Land, get it back with Ren and Six doesn't seem like the worst play. Especially if he has a fatal push or something. The best play is for him to tap nurturing Pete Land, except tap it using the wrong thing and just immediately die. That would be wonderful. I would like that very much. Occasionally there's a bug on Moto where you can't do any option other than the very first one for mana. And so if he clicked on Nurturing Peatland and tried to do the special activated ability, he wouldn't be able to do it. And it would immediately go to the first option, which is paying life for mana, and he would instantly die. That'd be pretty sick. And I'm dreaming up these scenarios because I'm pretty totally boned. Yeah. Alright, well. I really, really have to draw Galvanoglast or Insole Artifact. I need to not draw Mox Opal. Mox Opal does not do it.
Botcast would be a decent draw. Emery would be an okay draw. Um, not too big on uh, the mainlands. They seem kind of a. Fortunately, this Dark Steel Citadel does. Uh, no, not playing Vault Scourge. I might as well play uh, Cranial Plating, though. Vault Scourge just immediately dies to Renin 6. So that's not really an option. Really hope he doesn't draw another shadow. That would be bad. Interesting, the next Bloodstained Mire. Well then. If he has a Lightning Bolt... Three turns away. Alright. 